After the flood, the residents met in the flood partnership group and we put together all our ideas, everything that went wrong, everything that went right. Uh, we also looked at different areas that had been flooded as well, looking at their good practices and things that didn't work for them. St Asif now has got what's called the flood plan, which uh, shows what we need to do, but more importantly what the emergency services uh, also need to do um, when the flood barriers will go up. Um, the river will actually have branches cut back. So all this is in the plan to demonstrate what needs to happen and when it needs to happen. We decided afterwards, with the help of the local councillors, that we get ourselves organised on a community basis to help each other in the event of anything further happening. So we have set up a flood subcommittee um, and on that committee are the, local town, the four local town councillors irrespective of the politics. They were there to help on the day and they pledged themselves to help in the future. The local uh, county councillor, we have a representative from the police and a representative from the fire service and I was asked if I would consider to be the coordinator for the project. And we have met monthly since the flood. Um, we have set up a register of people in the community who are vulnerable and we have got people from outside our immediate, immediate area who will act as their guide and supporter in the event of further flood. We have got a team of people who will transport people out of the area, if that is necessary, to the emergency centre because although we have a local car park, we couldn't get to our cars because it would have been wading through water. St Asif uh, now will be having what's called a flood practice. Uh, this will involve all the emergency services, it will involve uh, uh, Natural Resources Wales, voluntary organisations, it will also involve all the residents. The residents will be getting flood alerts. There is going to be pl plenty of notice to say this is a practice because it could frighten a lot of residents. Uh, but what we want to do is one, reassure the residents that now things are in place to protect St Asif. But two, let's find out if anything is going to go wrong, what can go wrong, and we want to make sure that the flood barriers can be put into place. Residents are fully aware of the actual uh, flood uh, is imminent and what we can do to support and help them. And as a resident, I am looking forward to this flood practice because I think it will help tremendously the emotional issues that some people still have when it still rains very heavily. Any community that is in a flood risk area should get together and form a plan that people in the community can actually turn to if the awful event happens or the flood occurring. You have to be positive if you want your community to actually support each other. It doesn't matter what your background is. If you are community spirited, uh, you will find that people will support you. And I think that we together as a community now, since the flood, have actually got together in a much better way. You only get in life what you put into it. And if you want to have a community spirit in your area, you've all got to work together.